Hey everybody, this is Pam Coey. I'm in my studio and I'm getting started with our community snail mail project in Art and Success Pro, which is my brand new membership group. We started, we kind of launched in early August of 2021. So one of the things that I thought we, we would have fun doing would be to do a community project. So for the month of July, we started a snail mail community project where everybody who wanted to participate sent me some color swatches from their part of the world uh, and you know through the mail which is something that it's it's kind of fun because we don't often get mail anymore we don't often send mail anymore when I got all this mail of course it was very exciting and I wanted to kind of share the process of how I'm going to take all of these color swatches uh, and make it into some big piece and I spent a lot of time thinking about it I wasn't quite sure you know how I was going to do it. I had a lot of different ideas, but it had to be something that you know was really cohesive and was my aesthetic, but using everybody's swatches. Well, what I wasn't really expecting was when I started to open these letters, how personal they were and how meaningful they were to me. Like every single letter was different, and I got to know the artist who sent me the swatches. They often sent me letters cards and then there was the stamps on the envelope and the envelopes were sometimes decorated so with all of this great you know um, material to work with i it just became really perplexing and it's taken me about a month um, this is not the only thing i've been doing but it took me a month to really think about how do i want to do this and so I was up really late last night till about 2 a.m. kind of experimenting with a couple of the letters that I got and I wanted to kind of show you uh, what I've come up with as my idea. And I'm feeling excited because I like the um, initial results I'm getting. I feel like they're very personal to each person's uh, letter that they sent me. So let me turn my camera down. So the first envelope that I experimented with was Brigitta Zucht from Germany. And I apologize if I'm not saying your name correctly, Brigitta but uh, she had this lovely handmade uh, paper envelope and I noticed that right away. Uh, and I'm working on a six by six inch multimedia artboard as my surface to make all these collages. So I did decide to start with collage and then all of these six by six inch pieces and there will be about 160 or 70 of them are going to be made into a large piece. So I love grids and that was part of her envelope and then you know a lot of times there's a, a little letter tucked inside and, and I really enjoy reading that and you know I took a little piece there I experimented with kind of the perimeter of this thinking you know maybe that would work but and you can kind of see I got these swatches and my hands are really dirty because I've been doing encaustic all day but um, you can kind of see the variety that I get from each person you know there's hand painted uh, pieces of paper of all different kinds. Sometimes they're rice paper, sometimes they're thicker paper. And, but, so the idea is how do you make something cohesive from, um, in one project uh, that incorporates material from artists around the world? So that was my challenge and um, spent quite a bit of time just, you know, cutting and tearing and overlapping and kind of seeing what I might want to do. So with this particular one, uh, what I came up with for Brigitte's um, mail was this piece. And I'm just going to bring it close. Hopefully you can see that. And so, you know, she had this handmade, um, it, it was kind of like palette paper, I think. And then she had this piece. And I just started to look at what was in the envelope and you know what she had said so hopefully uh you can see this a little bit better but she had part of a um a tea bag that i thought was really cool and then this green piece i cut from this swatch and i really thought this was really pretty so i cut um or i tore that out and then i punched holes in it um, this was a piece that she had sent there's part of a stamp and you know like that so that was the first piece i did um, had really a lot of fun doing that and I just opened a couple more envelopes. Um, this is Christina Drummond and um, she is from um, Ontario, Canada and so this was really fun because she actually had a card with 
you know, a hand painted piece, but um, when I started to tug on it, it, it kind of just came loose and I thought, okay, well maybe it's okay to use this. And I, you know, she had a lot of other things in here too, but I've used a lot of it. So I just started to cut and tear, you know, and, and try things. And this is her piece so far that I have done. Uh, I had a lot of fun. This particular piece actually is the back side of one of the swatches she sent me. Sometimes that happens, but you know, I love shape. And I think for me, what, what I had to figure out with all of this mail coming in is there is a sentimental part of me that, you know, wants to capture maybe some of the writing or, you know, I, at least that was my original thought. But then I started to think that um, after some first experiments that that wasn't really going to work. And so uh, the whole trick of this was to simplify down to, you know, s selecting the pieces that really spoke to me and playing with shape and playing with composition. So this one is kind of a loose grid, you'll notice. And um, that's kind of going to be my theme is that each one of these will be part of a much bigger grid. I think it's like going to be six feet by something. And I'll probably do a lot of these myself um, just to fill in the gaps and have focal points. But anyways, this was fun, a lot of cutting and gluing, and this is multimedia artboard. So that's Christina Drummond. And then this one was from uh, Joy Carter from Maryland, and she loves the color blue. You know, look at the inside of her envelope even. It's just, uh, you know, obviously she loves blue, and that was so much fun. Uh, so I took her swatches, and she had fabric, and she has paper, and I was cutting, and, you know, I read her letter, and I came up with, I wanted to, you know, obviously it's about the color blue. So... That's what I did here, and I did incorporate her name just on the side there. I try to sneak it in there because I don't want it to be too obvious. I liked her little birds that were in here, but she's got water and she's got hand-painted uh, papers, but obviously she loves blue. So this piece is about the color blue. Very neat. Um, this one is from Denise Smith in Texas, and she had a lot of fun things. See, that's the thing. Like originally I said, you know, send me some swatches, but I kind of said just like five or seven, I think. And, but you know, these arts are really creative and I'm getting all kinds of different things, not just paper, but look at this, you know, and that's black and I like that. And you know, all these different colors. And then again, the letters and I read them and here's some red packaging material. Um, here I took a little piece out of there, but I have such a good time reading everybody's notes and so for hers what I did was um, this piece right here uh, let's see here I think originally I was not that it matters but you know again I'm working on composition and we're going to be talking a lot about composition so not not everything is um, necessarily a strict grid my final piece is going to be a grid because each one of these is six by six inches but I am thinking about um, like lots of open space and I'm trying to be super selective. You know, I'm not trying to use every single thing that people send me because it's not about that. You know, you could say that everything a person sends me is a gem, but if I get 10 things, I can't throw it all onto into the piece. I have to be very selective, and that's where I think my personal aesthetic comes in and design and color, like what's going to work. So when you see that um, kind of what I'm doing. And in other videos, I'm going to actually create these under the camera. But I guess what I wanted to show um, that I'm excited about is how these all kind of speak to one another. And that was really important to me. Some of my earlier experiments, like they, I liked the pieces, but they weren't really going very well together. They weren't feeling very cohesive. So I needed to come up with a plan where, number one, it's obviously using these very personal swatches from the artist and then but it's also according to my aesthetic so what I'm excited about is like when I look at these together it kind of uh, number one I feel like it, it is my style it celebrates my love of shape but it also honors each person's contribution to this project and Again, I'm trying to incorporate their name into the piece so that I can remember, you know, exactly who it is. And it's amazing. I actually get to, I feel like I'm getting to know 
um, artist better through the swatches that they've sent me and because they're so varied and then I have the letters to read and then I've got their handwriting and sometimes I'll incorporate part of a stamp or part of a, um, a postal mark or something like that. So I have a lot of material to work with but this is a very good lesson in kind of the I think the less is more where you really have to uh, be super selective. You just can't include everything. So as I, I only have four done right now, but um, gosh, I have another, what, 155 more to go. Um, but I'm, I know I'm going to learn a lot by doing this and I'm really having a lot of fun. So that's what I wanted to share with you. Thanks everyone. Bye now.